We have been interested in trying to help people, older people, for well over 15 years. Reason being is that it's a problem that's only going to grow. There's a real need now on the heels of the Human Genome Project to better understand which genes and proteins inside cells are being turned up and down as people get older that are leading to age-related diseases. What is going wrong with them or going differently with them to produce the pathology or just natural aging? What you have in a cell is strands of DNA and some of those strands of DNA are genes and the function of a gene is to basically produce a protein. How would you do it if I gave you a cell and said, tell me how the different genes and proteins are interconnected? It might be that you buy a new home and you don't have the wiring diagram for your home, but you have downstairs a large circuit breaker box and you want to know how is that circuit breaker box controlling the different wiring aspects to your house. So what do you do? You run upstairs, you get a boom box, put the volume on high, plug it into the kitchen, you run downstairs and you flip the switches on your circuit breaker box till you hear the volume go off in the kitchen say, okay, that's the switch for the kitchen. What we as engineers can do is create small molecular switches that can go in and turn genes on or off. And so by measuring the amount of protein, we can figure out how the cell is wired just as by listening to here, is the volume on or off, we can determine which switches are controlling which rooms in a house. I think what's revolutionary about this is that we're bringing an engineering approach now to questions in biology. We are going to be able to, out of the over 30,000 possible genes, identify the small handful that need to be turned up or down to produce the effect of interest. If we can identify the key mediators for a given age-related disease, which genes or proteins, for example, are diminished and inhibited in an Alzheimer's patient, it may be possible that you can go in and uh, develop drugs that could tune up those genes, to develop drugs that could deliver those proteins to help reverse the process. BU, from the time I first joined, had embraced interdisciplinary work. There really was a spirit here of being unconventional that I think really helped shape our lab and, and my approach to really bring us to where we are today.